Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of How to Rip. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how you can improve your paddling so that it's at the same standard as the pros. Now to do that, it's a mix of technique and time in the water. Now while I might not be a pro surfer myself, I've certainly spent a lot of time in the water with surfers who are, and I've observed the techniques that they use to make them paddle faster and for longer than the rest of us. Now before we discuss the techniques and how you can implement those techniques, let's discuss why it's important to be a good paddler. There are many reasons why it's important to be a good paddler. One of them is surfing somewhere like this, where to get out the back where the best waves are, you've got a long way to go. So it's important to be efficient and fast. If we can maximize our efficiency, we can get out the back with more energy, and we can put that energy into our surfing. Another reason is so that when we paddle into a wave to duck dive, we generate more speed and more momentum. And if we do this correctly, we'll be able to do what this surfer does. As they paddle in, they duck dive, and then they pop out underneath the wave. Being a good paddler also makes it easier for you to get into position for the best waves possible. In addition to that, it also gives you more speed from the get-go. And if we put it all together, you'll be able to catch more waves, have more energy and have more fun. So there's no one technique out there that'll make your paddling better. There's a lot of small improvements that we can make to your paddling, which will make a big difference overall. So let's have a look at what techniques the pros use when they paddle so that you can use them too. So I mentioned that good paddling is a blend of technique and also time in the water. And time in the water means that you're gonna have a higher level of fitness. But technique, we can improve on immediately. Let's take a look at Kale and I paddling here. There's a few things that we can take away from this. Look at the strokes. You can see that they're long. They enter almost at the nose of the surfboard and then I pull all the way back past my hips. Now high level swimmers use similar techniques. In addition to this, you can see that we're paddling with cupped hands. Notice also the active body position. See how we've got that slight chest raise. In doing that, it means that we activate our back muscles. We switch them on so we have more power when we're paddling. And then by having your legs close together, it helps keep that core switched on and also protect your lower back. Check out this example here. Notice how my paddling differs when I paddle for a wave. You can see I'm paddling much faster, much harder, which gives me a higher stroke rate and more power and speed. And I'm kicking my back legs. That'll help me generate more speed and more momentum into that wave. Next time you're out in the surf, apply some of these techniques to your own paddling and let us know how it goes for you. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. I hope that you've got a few pointers about how you can improve your paddling in the future. Remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below to let us know what other videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Do you guys love to surf? Well, so do I. Now you can check out my latest range of clothing called I Love Surf. And for a limited time only, with every purchase of I Love Surf clothing, you'll get a limited edition free How to Rip DVD. Go to ilovesurf.co and you can find a range of clothing to suit your needs.